I think they uh, did a lot of things and a lot of different people helped me in, in different ways. Um, I think the main thing was how high they kept the standard in, in school and on the field and you know to keep that standard in the pros is you know necessary so I think learning you know all four years um, my time at Clemson it was always everything that you did every little thing had to be at the highest level so I think getting in those habits and every single day doing every single little thing right was was what prepared me the most. For me, um, there was no MLS back then. Um, I grew up in Seneca. I saw the 1987 National Championship and I wanted to play there. Like you, I was able to play with some, some quality players and uh, I felt like the school on the field and off the field uh, prepared me. Clemson got me ready. Perfect, yeah. It's yeah. a good place to do it. Yeah. Did you choose Clemson based off of, off of the opportunity to prepare you to be a pro? Yeah, I think that was definitely part of it. Um, you know, Juan Clemson was, was close to home and, you know, I grew up going to Clemson soccer camps and it's funny, I have a picture with Coach Noonan in his first year coaching and I'm like this tall, I'm like 10 years old and I guess that's when it, when it all started. It was a good place to learn and develop, so it was definitely probably the biggest reason why I went uh, in school as well, so, yeah. but yeah. Charlie, I'm definitely a bit older than you. <laughs> Um, like slightly. You, slightly, <laughs> slightly. I think I could still run with you for maybe about 10 yards. Uh, we're both left-footed. I played left midfield uh, in college and forward. Um, back then, uh, Clemson, like it is now, was a powerhouse. Um, what do you see the differences are maybe from your standpoint now from back then? Yeah, I know Noonan takes a lot of pride in um, you know, kind of recruiting locally, which I know wasn't as much of an emphasis back in the day from what I've heard, because I know Noonan believes there's a lot of talent in these areas, so I know that soccer-wise, that's um, a little bit of a difference. And, you know, even from me growing up and going to camps, I know a lot has changed in and around campus and facility-wise and, you know, just around the, the community and stuff. Oh, yes, I wish I could go back and uh, train at the nice new facility you guys have. Yeah, that's. That's what all the alumni are saying. Our practice fields back in the day were um, what I call Dabo Land, which is the football <laughs> facility. Yeah. Our locker rooms were at uh, Jervy, I think it's Jervy Meadows. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the stadium at, at the time, historic Ricks Field, which is a special place, the, the away stands weren't as necessarily built in. So there's a lot of changes. And I, I, I yeah. think the changes are great. And you can see, from my opinion, by the national championship by also the players that are being produced there. I also think what the the athletic department, Coach Noonan and, and the staff have been able to do is prepare the guys not just on the field but off the field as well. And to be honest, when I was at Clemson, I, I needed a lot of that. <laughs> this past year, I got to see you in North Carolina win a national championship. So I've been able to see two, never been able to play in one myself. What was that like last year? I mean, like, it's, it still leaves me speechless, honestly. Like, it's, what, nine months later, ten months later almost, so. Um, but it was the best feeling in the world once, you know, you hear the whistle blow. And, you know, the team played really well um, in that first half. And I remember I crossed the ball into Isaiah, and I, I made Isaiah do a lot of work, but he was able to, to finish it off. So that was truly, like, probably the, one of the most special moments of my career was getting an assist in that game. I think one of the biggest things for me with the transition from Clemson to the pros was handling the pressure of now I am playing for my livelihood, my job, how do I handle that? Whether it's on the field, but more importantly, off the field. What was the biggest um, difference or transition or thing that you've had to really concentrate on to, to continue to enjoy playing and, and be the player you are? Yeah, I think one, that's that's a big part of it. I mean, you know, you come into a, a locker room where you're 22 years old and you're just straight out of college, but then there's, you know, 30 some year old guy with two kids and he needs this job and stuff. So he, you know, maybe isn't necessarily the friendliest guy on the field to you and stuff. So I think. Noticing that and how you handle that is, is one thing, and then also just the speed of play, I think, is uh, 
probably a little, or not a little bit, it's, it's a lot higher than, than it is in college. And I think um, first day in preseason, I could tell then, I think that's something I'm still adjusting to, you know, months into my, my first season as a, as a pro. So I think that's something that I'm gonna continue to keep trying to get better at. And, um, you know, that's, it's a big difference from, from the college, college game and it's a big jump, but um, I think that's something I'm still trying to adjust to and, and working hard at it. I mean, I, th I think so far here, and, and and what I've seen and heard, like the the adjustment you've made have been has been great. Thank you, I appreciate that. I think one of the advantages of, of playing at Clemson is no matter where you go in the country, there's always a fan base that is behind you. Mm -hmm. When they see the Paul, they see the orange. You get a Go Tigers. Uh, they may not even be the diehard soccer fans, yeah. But when they hear that Clemson is in town, they come and watch and. A special thing about the Charleston Battery being in South Carolina, I believe, is that Clemson alumni and fans will, co will come and support their alumni as well. Have you yeah. seen that? No, definitely. And it's, it's funny because I stepped away, um, you know, I got drafted to Austin and um, obviously Austin's a little bit further, so um, I would still get the occasional fan that said something after games and stuff like that, but um, it wasn't as much of an emphasis uh, in Austin, Texas. And then. Um, now that I've come back into South Carolina and I'm in Charleston now, it's every single game. It's um, people coming up and talking about Clemson and it's, it's just, it's awesome because it brings back many memories and it's just, um, you see how much of a community, um, tight-knit community that Clemson had and um, there's fans um, all throughout the state and like you said, all throughout the country, but it, it feels good to be back in South Carolina and have all these fans behind me and I'm um, seeing it firsthand at games and through social media. And, and all that, it's, it's special and uh, you know, it's the reason why Clemson will always have a special place in my heart for sure. Awesome.